Hi, I'm Sachini Ayendra. Today I'm with BNB and I want to wish all the gorgeous ladies out there a happy Mother's Day. One thing I have seen in women today is that after they get married or after they have children especially, they just neglect themselves and they gain weight and they look bad and after some time they just look at themselves and they wonder like what happened to me or what happened to us. So as a woman, as a mother of two kids, also as a celebrity but first as a woman, what I have to say to all those women out there are don't neglect yourself don't forget yourself because the easiest thing for us to do after some point in our lives is forget ourselves put everyone above us put the kids above us the, put the husband above us but I think that's wrong first you have to put yourself first because when we are happy we can make others happy when we are a happy human being a happy person we can be a better mom to our kids, a better wife to our husband. So you have to have that confidence as a woman. So how you get the confidence is for a woman, I know number one is how you look. And uh, some might say like it's the education or it's what we've gained, what we've achieved. But women, uh, how we look really plays a major part in our lives so if you uh, start to look good if you lose weight or if you do something yourself to look your best I know for a fact that that will give you some confidence and that bit of confidence will play a huge part in your lives when you're that happy person you know everybody will embrace you everybody will love you more or everybody will feel like oh just so attracted to you because I myself know that as experience so I would always tell people who always come to me and ask how do you look like this or how do you lose weight or how do you look the way you do like give us tips I mean I always tell people like it might not take a long time or it might not take all your day to look your best but do the right thing do maybe one thing that would help you that's easy with your lifestyle but do something that would make you feel better you know maybe um, for example, like do some yoga or maybe if you can just go to a gym and exercise or maybe at least like uh, eat a healthy meal, uh, especially as mothers, we have to give so much to them. We have to give so much to our children, to our families, you know, so um, we, we have to have so much for us to give in return. So I would always say put yourself first don't worry what people are gonna say uh, don't think like oh my god I'm being selfish because those are things that women has told me you know I feel selfish to think of myself first but no you have to be selfish to some extent so it's okay so go out there and make yourself happy I'm definitely a blessed soul who can eat anything and everything but I try not to uh, because of many reasons uh, I would say like as you grow older I think uh, we tend to gain more weight in whatever I do like sometimes I feel like I eat a piece of cake today and I can see it on the scale tomorrow <laughs> well it's not that bad but uh, it's something like that so I always try to stick to a diet because that's what helps me uh, also to be healthy and fit and also because I'm concerned uh, always about my health and being fit basically uh, because of that I don't eat everything but I would love to maybe sometimes um, once a week or maybe if I go on a shoot or if they don't have all the food that's on my diet available I would just eat anything that's available uh, but other than that on a regular basis I try to stick to my diet well for breakfast I usually eat eggs uh, to be honest, I have been eating boiled eggs for the past maybe um, four years in a row. <laughs> 
and I hate eggs but I have no other choice because that is the best uh, breakfast you could eat because it has lean protein so I try to uh, actually change it up a little bit like maybe omelette, scrambled egg, bullseye or something like that but it's always eggs and uh, the days I work out like I try to add some carbs into it like maybe oats or bread or something like that but in general I would love to uh, stick to only eggs because that's the best meal uh, for me uh, even though I don't really like it and uh, for lunch uh, actually um, my lunch from time to time I try to change it up a little bit so uh, sometimes I would eat a, maybe a little bit of rice and salad and, and uh, protein that's a meat uh, sometimes I skip the rice altogether and just stick to salad and meat uh, sometimes I only eat meat so it depends like some like when I work out like if I'm really hungry and my trainer always tells me like you know you have to eat you have to eat carbs don't skip a lot of meals so um, I try to kind of uh, change it up a little bit but mainly stick to um, a salad and meat and for dinner uh, dinner I have been having soup for the past five years <laughs> every single day I know sometimes it's the same soup and it's so boring to have it so I just you know um, goggle it up like uh, without even thinking about it uh, because uh, I don't know I'm just used to it now and I would say actually I'm not a very um, I'm not a foodie I'm not a food lover I mean I like to eat but I'm not this kind of person who would like go looking for food like get a lot of cravings or have to change like the diet like all the time in order to uh, change my taste so um, you know I don't really pay attention so I would just eat what's healthy and then like try to stick to it so the favorite meal of the day I would say lunch because um, I'm usually really hungry when I have lunch because uh, either in the morning I have worked out or I have done something in the morning so by the time by lunch time I'm generally really hungry so I eat it with a lot of like you know appetite so I would say lunch yeah. my favorite form of exercise I would say um, nothing <laughs> because basically I, I do all types of exercise and uh, I don't tend to favorite anything because of the reason uh, I tend to do only that then so I, I I do all sorts of exercise but I would not do uh, so much of cardio uh, I mainly do lifting so I mix up almost everything but from recent times I um, start loving yoga not because I'm doing it I'm not yet doing it uh, when I start doing it I will give you guys uh, on my experience on how it went uh, but I have been contemplating because I watch a couple of movies about yoga so I heard it has so many benefits so I, I want to start doing it uh, yeah so that's basically uh, what I have in my list at the moment but other than that I am just sticking to like regular exercise my favorite time of the day to work out is in the morning uh, because uh, especially not very early morning maybe around 9 10 in the morning um, mainly I feel more energized at that time and I, I don't really like to do workouts in the afternoon because after lunch I'm generally um, sometimes even if I don't do anything I'm thinking I'm tired and I'm like always saying oh my god I'm tired I'm tired and I'm sometimes I'm like okay I didn't even do anything <laughs> how are you tired but uh, exercising I would prefer to do in the mornings to keep myself motivated I would say several factors plays a part in it uh, first thing my career because of course I'm an actress and I have to keep an eye on what I look like and how I look like also my fans uh, my fans who also criticize me all the time if I gain a little bit of weight they would be like oh my god you're so fat what happened to you or you know I have some a little bit of critical fans uh, also very loving ones so them uh, then I would say uh, my sister 
because she is a fitness freak. I can safely call that now uh, because uh, she is in amazing shape. And uh, when I compare myself with her, I'm like nothing compared to her. So I, I always, when I see her, I'm like, I want to be like her. Because she lives overseas. And uh, every time I see her, like once a year, um, I have to keep up with her. So fitness wise, uh, she's my motivator. Uh, and of course, I think as a person, uh, we have to love ourselves, you know, that's a must. Every person should love yourself. So I love myself and I don't want to um, look bad or I don't want to, um, you know, just feel sorry for myself. So I would do things to keep me happy, make me happy. And uh, I would do it my, for myself. My favorite cheat meal, I would say, is um, pasta or something uh, to do like with Italian cuisine, like pizzas or pastas. Uh, but to be honest, I, do, I try not to cheat so much. Then again, I have two kids and uh, they're always eating sweets. So they would like offer me like, mom, do you want some chocolate or mom, do you want some ice cream? So sometimes I cheat with them. Uh, and indulge in some like sweets so yeah so it's difficult to sometimes keep up a strict diet and uh, with, when you have two children at home and when they eat all this yummy food but uh, on the day that I decide to cheat that's like once a week uh, I try to eat something like maybe sweets or like maybe some pasta or something like that what I have learned over the years about beauty is that uh, whatever you may apply from the outside uh, is not really important. What is important is what you uh, eat and drink and what you put inside your body. So most importantly you have to have a super healthy meal, uh, a very balanced meal and then you have to drink lots of water. Uh, you have to keep your skin away from sun uh, which is really bad for your skin and uh, get plenty of rest because sleep rest is also as important to our skin and our health and our mind and everything is very important so you have to get plenty of rest plenty of sleep at least seven to eight hours of sleep a day uh, and then lots of water like i said before so if you do all these things uh, and, and if you make it a lifestyle, you know, not just do it for like a couple of weeks or a couple of days and then give up, you won't get any results. But if you make it your lifestyle, like you have to make it a part of your life, you know, adjust your life accordingly, make your uh, daily schedule accordingly and then stick to it for a long period of time, you can achieve anything and uh, you can achieve any goal you set your mind into. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and also share it and please subscribe to Bold and Beautiful.